Welcome to Roland Academy Support Tutorial Video Series. Today's lesson will be Variable Data Printing with VersaWorks. We've broken down today's lesson in three parts. Creating the Variable Data Template, Creating the Database, and Setting up the Job for Printing in VersaWorks. Variable Data Printing is a form of on-demand printing in which all the prints in a single job are similar but not identical. For example, if you are printing employee ID cards, they will all have the same basic layout, but each card will have a different name, picture, and employee ID number. Let's look at the two examples of variable data jobs. The first job is a series of decals in which each decal has a different picture and product name. The second job is a series of posters in which the location and date differs from one copy to the other. Variable data printing requires the following components. A template file which contains the basic layout and the placeholders for the variable data information. A database file which lists the variable information such as names, serial numbers, or the location of the image files. Image files if your job uses images as a variable data. The image files can be saved in the following formats JPEG, TIFF, EPS, PDF, and Postscript, and finally VersaWorks. Step 1 Creating the Variable Data Template. In the Snaps decal example, there are two variable data fields one for image and one for text. Placeholders for variable data must be a rectangular vector object with no fill and the color of the outline or stroke must be of spot color starting with VDP underscore. VDP must be all capital. In this example, we will create a spot color named VDP underscore photo for the image and apply to the stroke of the placeholder for the image data. We will also create another spot color named VDP underscore product for the text and apply to the stroke of the placeholder for the text data. We will now show the steps for creating the spot colors and the placeholders in Illustrator CS4. The template file should contain all static elements that do not change from copy to copy. First, we will create the spot colors required for each variable data field. Clicking on New Swatch button displays the New Swatch window. In Swatch name, we will type VDP underscore photo, and then select Spot Color and Color Type. The color mode is not relevant, so you can use either CMYK or RGB. Select any color that you want for this color. It is recommended to use some color that can be easily identified in your design. Click OK to save the color. Click again on New Swatch. We will type VDP underscore product in Swatch name, select Spot Color in Color Type, and pick the color for this swatch. And finally, click OK to save the color. We will now create the placeholders for the variable data. Click on Rectangle 2 and draw a rectangle where you want the image data to be placed in your design. Apply the spot color VDP underscore photo to the stroke of that shape. Draw another rectangle for the text and apply the spot color named VDP underscore product to the stroke of that shape. We will now save the file in PDF format, select and save as, select Adobe PDF and save as type, specify the file name and click save. Select Illustrator Default in Adobe PDF Preset and click on Save. We will now show the steps for CorelDRAW X5. First go to Window, 
Talkers, Color Palette Manager. Click on New Palette. Type the file name for your palette. We will use VDP in this example. Click now on Palette Editor. Make sure VDP is selected and click Add Color. Pick the color that you want for your spot color and click Add to Palette. We will create another color and click Add to Palette again. Click OK. So we now have two colors. Select the first one, type the name VDP underscore photo. VDP must be all capital. Select spot color. Now select the second color, change the name to VDP underscore product and also select spot color. Click OK. We will now create the placeholders for the variable data. Select on rectangle 2 and draw the rectangle for the image data. Pick the color VDP underscore photo and drag and drop on the stroke of the shape. Create another rectangle for the text. Pick the color VDP underscore product and drag and drop on that stroke. Click File, Save As. Select PDF and Save As Type. Enter the file name and click Save. In PDF settings, it is important to go to Color tab and make sure Convert Spot Colors to is unchecked. Click OK to save the file. Step 2. Creating the database. We will use Microsoft Excel to create the database. The first row must contain the name of variable data fields. The name must be an exact match to the spot color names created in your template. We will type VDP underscore product and VDP underscore photo in the first two cells in the first row. Under VDP product column, we will type the name of product. Under VDP photo column, we will type the location and the file name of image files. The location must be specified as a full path starting with the drive letter. We will continue typing all product names and image files in the subsequent rows. The maximum number of rows of data that VersaWorks can process is 250. Once you have finished typing, select File, Save As, enter the file name, select CSV in file format, and click Save. Click Yes if you see this screen. This concludes the database creation process. Step 3. Setting up the variable data job for printing in VersaWorks. Launch VersaWorks and drag and drop the variable data template file into the VersaWorks queue. VersaWorks will display some icons in the special item section, meaning that the job file contains counter cut lines and variable data fields. Double click on the job to open the job settings window. Click on variable data. Check enable variable data printing. VersaWorks has detected all the variable data fields and have listed there. 
Click on load and navigate to the folder where the variable data database is stored. Select the CSV file and click open. The VersaWorks will automatically match the data in your database to the fields in your template and display the corresponding product image and product name. We will now make some changes in the layout before printing the job. By clicking on the column title, you can make changes that affect all copies in the same way. Let's select the product column and change the position of the text, change the font, and change the size. If the font size is too big, you can check the option Auto Sizing and NiversaWorks will fit the text automatically to the field. You can change some attributes such as Italic, Bold, Underline, or even apply some special effects such as Drop Shadows. For Drop Shadow, we can change the Offset Click on color box to change the color of the text. Click on the color box on the right side and change the color of the drop shadow. By clicking on the row number, you can preview the other copies and confirm that the changes you made were properly applied to the other copies. Let's now work on the layout of the image data by clicking on the photo column title. You can adjust the position, change the size of the image, and also select different ways to fit the image into the field. Note that the image is hiding some of the design elements. By checking the option Draw on a white background, we'll move the image to the back of all design elements. VersaWorks also allows you to enter the data manually. Click Create New Data, and type the appropriate data in the new row. The preview is automatic update as you finish typing the information. By having only this cell selected in the table, we can make changes in the layout that only apply to this copy. In this case, we will change the way the image fits into the field. Whenever a cell has some unique layout settings, VersaWorks changes the color of that cell to highlight the difference. Once you have finished editing, click OK to close job settings, and you are now ready to print. More information about variable data printing can be found in Roland VersaWorks help file. Go to Show Help, select Operating Special Printing Features, and click on Printing Variable Data. This concludes our tutorial for today. Thank you for joining us.